Hey guys, so Sia bringing you another video. Welcome back to the main account. We just got ourselves back into Diamond 2 and we're playing Annie. I've not played Annie in a while. I, I, I technically wasn't blind picked because we were against the Swain, but I didn't know it was Swain mid. Um, you know, you usually don't see Swain mid. So hopefully we'll have an okay game. I don't think this matchup is actually amazing for Annie, but hopefully we'll be okay regardless. Uh, I think I still do the one shot build um because i can one shot technically rengar if i hit it well twitch and zillion and then hopefully my team can kind of deal with the uh garen and swain so yeah oh i don't like annie she doesn't see my type of champ i mean she's a control burst mage they, that is kind of my style of champ annie's like in the best i'm gonna say this in a really funny way well not funny way but like annie is the champion i play in mid if i'm too lazy to play a nivea right now just straight up. So, um, yeah. I was thinking about playing Anivia this game, but I just couldn't really be bothered. Hey, Tyranadios. Uh, I, don't post the, I don't post the actual winners themselves. Um, so again, someone's asking about the subathon winners. I've never and never will post just the names of the people that win because I, I've, I've said it for years, the exact same story. There was a guy that won a giveaway. I can't remember. It might have been like a Jesse Cox giveaway or something. And Jesse or whoever it was posted like, here are the winners. The person that won's Twitter account got hacked to try and get the prize. That just sounds like a nightmare for me. So the people that win, I sometimes give them the option. Like, do you mind saying, you know, can I say who won? Um, and Sudoku Squad is the winner of the grand prize. So they, they've been like open and say like, yeah, you can say my Twitch name. That's fine. And then the the winner of the chair, I actually, I've drawn the winner, but I've not emailed them. I actually forgot to do that. But yeah, I, I never like just kind of doing a list of like, here's the people that won. Just personal preference. Just the notice we have Seraphine Senna bot. Hmm. 30 seconds until The volley bear tops a bit peculiar. Presume he's just going to split push. Let's be honest. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Split pushing top laners, really? Mm. You can't come to Tibber's tea party. <laughs> no, I've not emailed you yet, Sudoku. Sorry. I had a really, really chill weekend. Minions have spawned. But you have one, don't worry about it. You have one. Congratulations. Oh my god. Lexor of Midgard. Hey, Oblikos. Oh, they, they were looking for like an invade? Bum, 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 bum. Swain has started. Wait, what? Sway, you don't even buy tier on Swain. Like, Seraphs isn't even a Swain item. Hey, Havika. Havika with the 25 months Prime subscription. I have heard a really well, terrifying rumor, by the way. Uh, I don't know how much grounding there is to this rumor, but there is a rumor floating around right now that Prime subs are eventually going to go away. It, I, I'll be honest, it wouldn't shock me if that is true because, like, they keep saying, like, you know, they keep saying that the website is not profitable, but, oh, that would be really scary if they take away Prime subs because, like, Prime subs, I will just say, make up a decent amount of subs for Twitch streamers now um because there's a lot of people that you know they would they don't want to put like payment information into twitch and they don't want to like give a, a like pay but because they have amazon prime they use their free monthly sub i would say you know on average you know right now we're at an inflated number of subs because of the subathon but you know when we're at our normal happy number 1250 i would say out of that 1250 usually like three four hundred of them are prime subs that's a lot of income you know that that's that that would be scary to lose. Oh, 
nice early first blood though. Or did I technically not get first blood? I don't think I technically got first blood. Again, what's what enabled my first blood, by the way, is his tear start. It's made him so squishy. See, I hope that rumor doesn't have any traction to it. I've I've heard it in the background actually for like a little while. Um, but I also know, you know, Twitch has been doing a lot of changes and, and a lot of uproar has been started because of it. You know, whether you like it or not, Kick is now a competitor. If Twitch do that, I think it would probably just kind of nearly kill Twitch. I will just say, like, because some people have actually said to me, it's like, if something really bad happens to YouTube or Twitch, what am I going to do? I've, I've spoken for months about, you know, I'm going to, you know, in... I don't know when, but obviously I do know I can't do this forever. I'm not the channel size that I can. So I do know I'm eventually going to move into a career position. Obviously, if something really bad happens to Twitch or YouTube, it will probably speed up that process. Um, clearly. But some people have said, like, many years ago, I used to have a, a Patreon. And yeah, honestly, like, if something really bad happens, like, and they just go, right, in three months' time, all of this is going away, and I can't get a job in three months, let's say... I, I potentially would give a go opening up the Patreon again. Um, but I'd only do that if that would genuinely keep me going and help out me, you know. Uh, okay, he should be dead. That's a free kill for Kane, though. No? I don't mind. If Swain dies here, it gives Kane a kill and me an assist. I'm fine with that. The negative of using your both summoners in the early game, like you do actually weirdly make yourself quite vulnerable. So even though I killed him, it's actually put me in a weird position. Would I ever move to kick? Probably not. Like I can't say, never say, I'll say probably not because never say never. You know, I'm a human being with a mortgage and a little puppy and a, and a girlfriend. But like, you know, if kick went to me and they never will, by the way, but if they were like, hey, we're going to offer you a two year deal that we're going to pay you 10 grand a month. Who's going to say no to that? Like, let's be honest. No one's going to say no to that. Um, but, like, that's just never going to happen. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, he used Ignite. He used Ignite. Oh, no, he used Flash. Oh, my God. What is going on? I can't survive. From having, like, thinking this was going to be the easiest lane phase, I'm now getting destroyed. And I can't really do anything about it. He just hits me with an E and I'm dead. Ooh. If they all focus him, they can kill that Rengar. Yeah, just, honestly, if they just turned on him a lot quicker, they would have just killed him straight up. Yeah, it worked. Whoa, Twitch used Flash. He's trying to push, obviously, he's got a big XP lead at the moment. He's trying to push it really hard, which is exactly what he should be doing. He should go back now, though, because he should know I'm going to be level 6 really soon. And it would be bad, by the way, for him to die, just to say that. You know, I know that sounds obvious, but... And then he overstays and dies for no reason. So, yeah, if he wanted to stay, he should have played stupidly safe back here, but he just gave me the free kill. That's very weird. I don't know why he did that. The good thing is I still have Flash. Ooh, nice, Wallyber. Having Flash, it's like keeping Flash is the big deal. Because using Ignite's fine, we'll kill each other with Ignite. But he can kill me if I don't have Flash. I don't think I'll die if I have Flash up. You also got a nice tower plate there, so that's pretty good. I am running through my braid. What build do I do? Leandri's build is actually tempting. Oh. Leandri's build is tempting, but... I think I just do normal Ludens. Like, he's actually doing a really weirdly squishy build.
and you're nearly dead. He is not respecting. He like he really isn't respecting damage. XQC's gone to kick because he was paid a crazy amount. Oh. Wow, since he didn't even die, let's go, baby! We killed uh, Swain without Syndra dying. Syndra? Senna. Let's go. Well, technically, XQC hasn't got an exclusivity deal. XQC technically can stream on Twitch if he wants to, but hilariously, I think Twitch probably wouldn't let him. Oh, Rengar. I honestly thought he was doing Dragon. The enemy team, when Senna's roamed, have tried to kill Seraphine and she's not died, which is good. They're going to try and go for it now, but then Senna's turned up. Oops. My bad. I was looking at bot lane. Forgive me, father. I have sinned. What is this guy doing, man? He doesn't respect my damage at all. He literally doesn't respect that I do damage. Like, bud, you started tear. You are so squishy. You are so squishy going a tear start with no health at all. But he used ignite then, by the way. And I didn't even use ignite. This is really good for me. Let's go. Oh, let's go, baby. In a room of silence. He's going rod. Honestly, his playstyle does not scream rod of ages. Hey, can of beans. He's going to die again. I don't even think I need my ulti. Why am I not using the Professor extension? I actually don't like them extensions. Um, I know I'm a Professor partner, but as you all... Well, you might not. I don't use the extension. I use the website. I actually personally am against those type of extensions. I think they make League dumb in many ways. Like... As, like, if you look at my opinion of League in the last few years, I don't like things that make, you know, take away player skill. And all those extension things 100% take away player skill. Because it's it's not you having those information. So, yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a big fan of those extensions. I, I, I personally do see it as, like, a kind of form of cheating. Anyone can carry make it simpler. Yeah, but that's the thing. You're not doing it, though. You can do it, but you didn't when you could. Like, I've, I've heard the argument before going, oh, it's information that you, you can know without it. Yeah, but you didn't. Like... No one can tell me that who used that to going, oh yeah, I used to count, you know, I know the perfect cooldown of Swain ulti worked out with his exact ability haste and I worked out every game and then I exactly know when I hit Swain ult is every time. No, you didn't. No one did. But that tool that you've installed does. Your 
So yeah, to me, I don't know. I think League would be better without them. And I do hope Riot eventually crack down on them. Because like all I like Porofessor for is the you know the loading screen stats and stuff. I like that. I don't like the actual crazy timer in games and stuff. I think that's taking it too far. Personally. <clears throat> Why would you need to when the tool can help you? Well, the thing, the tool should, in my opinion, the tool shouldn't exist. Because no one did that in real life. Yeah, the biggest thing that people used to do was time summoner spells. And most players didn't even used to do that. Let's be honest. Wrecked. Get wrecked, dudes. Did he? He might have flashed as well, that Swain. And yeah, the tool is also not used by every single person, so you're inherently having an advantage, like, by using it. It's kind of like the argument with Duo Q. Duo Q is a problem, but the only people that don't think Duo Q is a problem are the people that Duo Q. If you use that tool, you're not going to think it's a problem. You don't want to admit that it is. If you don't use that tool, you'll find it annoying. Same kind of thing. Shut down. Not using is like a screwdriver with a power tool, is it? Not, no, it's not. No, it's not, because it's not technically part of the game. You're installing a third-party software. If it was in the game as a tool that you could literally press the option, click something on and off, maybe. But it's not. You, it's a third-party tool that could literally get deleted tomorrow. Like, Riot could decide tomorrow, oh, that is unhealthy for the game, let's get rid of that. And then if you've become so reliant on that as a player, then you're going to be really hurt in the long run. Again, like Duo Q. Wow. I, I would put it more, I would, um, I would equate it more to Duo Q than anything else. I think it's actually a pretty good comparison. Yeah, pro professional players aren't allowed to use those tools in game, you know? Obviously. He's so weak. Wow, GG, we win. Well, that was a quick game. Uh, do we play Rankdal? <laughs> we already did, Loldal. So, realistically, what did this Swain do wrong? Two things. Started tier is silly. Like, I don't even know. I can't even remember, but I don't think Seraphs is a rush item for Swain. I'm going to be honest. Like, rushing Seraphs just seems really troll. Um, it made him incredibly squishy. And then his, like, well, bigger problem is he didn't respect any damage. He just face tanked all the damage expecting like he was going to survive. So, yeah, a bit peculiar by that Swain. It's like he's never played Swain mid. Okay, so we do gain 25. I was actually hoping we gained more than 25 this game because think about it. If I want to get back to Diamond 1 today, from now, if we gain 25, we need to win three wins in a row. Very doable. We can hopefully do that. The thing is, we're at 27. So for us to win three games in a row and get to Diamond 1, we'd on average have to gain 26 LP, oh, 25 LP per game would get us there. But with already being low Diamond 2 and only gaining 25, it's very likely our next win might be 24 LP. Now, here's the thing. In the next three games, if I win 24, 24, 24, we're going to be 99 LP. So if we win the next game and gain 25 LP, eh, but we'll see. Oh boy. So we actually do the most damage in the game. I'm not surprised by that. I'm not surprised. No, my my MMR is not Diamond 3. My MMR right now is Diamond 2. Think about it. Neutral MMR is plus 25. So this is actually where my MMR is right now. I will say partially does surprise me, considering we were obviously not long ago in Master Promo. That does surprise me that my MMR is Diamond 2, but oh well. Um, let's look at the old load of Maduda. I, know, I think someone something will honestly surprise you guys. So we literally said it's like the, the Swain didn't really know. Yeah, the guy's got 194 games of Swain. He's got a terrible KD for a Swain main. 
but like having nearly 200 games he should he should realistically know how much damage he's doing and how much damage he's taking and he had no idea he literally had no idea about how much damage he's taking and also why would he start tier starting tier to me was the weirdest thing because annie annie is the type of thing uh, the type of champion that if you know you're squishy she can realistically get an early kill she's not really supposed to and because he started tier i got the first kill so weird so the Garen has got a lot of Garen games. The Rengar's probably a botted account. Swain is a big Swain main. He might even be a one trick. The Twitch is on a three game loss streak. Probably another botted account. Uh, the Zillion again, maybe a botted account, but it's a one trick cat arena. Then my team, big games of Volibear did pretty good. The Silas, good win rate. Again, my Annie's done okay. Pretty good Seraphine and good center. So none of my team is botted accounts. They're all like pretty high level main accounts. And then the enemy team have three accounts around level 50, 40. Crazy. But again, overall, not too bad. I think we'll leave it there. If you guys did enjoy uh, a nice... Again, we've actually just had two good games in a row. It does... It can exist. It, it can exist. <sighs> uh, wait, did I say... Oh, wait. Kane Jungle. Did I say Silas? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys enjoyed, do throw a like on it. Throw a comment. Throw a subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace, restore our glory to live forever. Bring down the dark regime and know how to unleash eternal peace.